Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Carosa Python, and first off, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos. I've done this way too many times. I work six days in a row, actually. Um, it's Thanksgiving here in Canada, so got two and a half times on one day, or one and a half times on one day, but that's not what this video about. This video is a little career tip for you guys. Um, it's not really even a tip. It's just advice. Do scouts. Like, it doesn't even matter. Um, I'm with Shrewsbury right now, who starts in the Empire League 1. Their budget is almost nothing, but I'm just going to show you guys. Um, first of all, to do a scout, you just... I'll show you guys here. Uh, if you didn't know, I mean, this is quite obvious. It's pretty easy to find. All you got to do is go to the manager's office. You go to Youth Academy. You go to Scouting Network. Now, you have three spots here. Um, you can hire a scout, which the really good scouts cost millions and millions, but... Even these one-star experience, one-star judgment scouts can be very, very beneficial to your teams. Really, though, only if you're in the lower leagues. I'm definitely going to say that. But, like, I'm in, I'm, uh, I'm Shrewsbury. You start in Empire League 1 with them, and I'm already in the championship. But I'm just going to show you guys the player I got in a second. But, yeah, um, they only cost 61000 to hire. And then what you want to do once you hire them is you go over, you set up a scouting network. It doesn't matter where you go. Um, I'm going to go to Canada just for, I don't know, the sakes. Um, so definitely do nine months as well. Make sure you're able to do that because once your scout is done, you lose all the players that you were scouting. So, for example, um, they bring back players, right? And then it'll show their potential and their stuff like that. And you can keep scouting them. And, like, I've had players scouted for, you know, five, six months before I want to sign them, right? Because I don't want to waste my money. So just say if you went only for three months, you have way less of a chance of finding a good player. So definitely make sure you have enough money to go for the nine months. Uh, you can put the type of the player. Uh, for me, I don't really... You know, I need a goalkeeper because my goalkeeper is getting pretty old, so... I'm going to put out a goalkeeper, and uh, he's going to go set up a network. He's going to bring me back some goalies, pretty much. I think I think he might only bring me back goalies, which is fine by me. But uh, I'm just going to show you guys who I got here, because, like, one star, he only cost me uh, 88000 or whatever, and then the 60000 or whatever to hire him. So, in total, it cost me about 150000 to set up the scout. And this is the player I got back. He did start as a 67 overall. He has already risen because his potential is 80, like 6, I'm pretty sure, which is absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, Jamie Davis here, he was already 67 overall. And just look at my team. He already fits in perfectly. Like he's right in the overall range that works well with the rest of my players. Um, but yeah, 87 reactions there. He has 80 aggression, 75 interceptions, very, very solid CDM. And, uh, oh yeah, like his stats aren't fantastic yet, but his potential is out of this world. I mean, he's going to be above an 85. And just think in the game right now, think of 85 overalls and how good most of them are. So, and he can always get better than that. And this is just a little funny thing. As you can see, his five-star skill moves, which is like, what the hell? Like you have, what, 59 dribbling or something like that? You have high defensive work rate, but uh, this guy's got the skills at six foot two. As you can see, he's only 17. He is from England. I don't know why I just went to England. But, yeah, that's not the thing that really... Well, I mean, I kind of expected this. But if I go to sell players here, and I go and I find Davis. Where is he? There he is. Look how much he's worth already. $2.8 So I spent 150000 and in a year, in my return, I already got back 2.8 million, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, with these players you bring in at two, you can see that their wages are absolutely nothing, which is just perfect if you're in the lower leagues as well. Um, this is basically just like, as I've said many, many times, I probably said lower leagues eight times already, but it's just for the lower leagues. You're not going to want to do this necessarily with the bigger teams if you're one of the top clubs in your league, like in the Premier League or the BBVA or whatever, I don't think scouts are that much worth it because you're bringing in players that are going to be quite low overalls and they just won't fit in with your squad right away. But with these lower teams, they fit into your squad. You can use them. And this Davis guy, he's going to be worth, you know, 10, 15, 50 million in the future, which is just perfect. So 
yeah, that's just a little quick tip from you guys. Um, little update. I'm sorry. I'll definitely be bringing back the road to one million. I just haven't had the time whatsoever. I mean, I'm making a lot of cash though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, absolutely no time. But that I'll well, hopefully have one out tomorrow. I do work tomorrow, but uh, oh well. I'll get it done. I'll do it. I'll get it done for you guys. But seriously, um, if you guys want more career videos, tell me because I absolutely love career mode in this game. Like, I'm just gonna go show you guys my team actually, because this video is a bit short. So, I'm gonna just show you guys Shrewsbury. Uh, this is my third year already. So I have Klepkins in goal, Grandison, who I believe was a 64 when he first got him, and he progressed all the way to 70. And look how much of a tank he is uh, with that 88 strength, and he's pretty quick too. We have Lorondo, which is actually a really weird thing that happened is I was short on center backs and I had absolutely zero money. And then halfway through the season, the I just got a message saying like, oh, sorry, we didn't uh, discuss this with you, but we went out and bought this player. Like the uh, the people that hire me or whatever, right? And they were like, oh, and, th and then it ends up being this insane center back that was like 72 overall. And this was last year or whatever. So he was by far my best player and he still is my best player, which is crazy. But, uh, yeah, so uh, that was kind of weird, but that guy had 97 aggression right there. Uh, Goldson, who starts as a uh, 55 overall, actually, and he's all the way up to 69. So I've been keeping him the whole way. Walsh is a guy I just bought. He's been an older uh, prospect, I guess you could say. He started at 64, and he's at 66. Uh, Davis, we already know all about him. Summerfield, he grew from about 64 to 69, which is pretty good. Uh, Limbombe is a player I bought for quite cheap at about 64 overall, I'm going to say. Or I think it was 66. And that was because Taylor, John Taylor, right? Four-star skills, the super fast guy. Everyone knows about him. He wanted to quit my team. Like, he was just bitching and moaning. So I let him go, and I got this guy who has higher potential. He was a higher overall, and I made money from it. So even if you guys really like the player, there's always a better option out there. Uh, Casillas here, another player. I bought him at about 64 overall, and he's up to 70. Unfortunately, I don't have a left wing position, and he doesn't fit into the left mode world quite well, so he's not progressing as much as uh, Limbombe. But uh, I'm probably butchering that name. Whatever. The only bad thing about him is he has 57 stamina, so I can only play him like, like yeah. Look at his energy. I can't play him that much, but that kind of sucks. Clayton, I can't remember what overall I got uh, him at. I think it was around 60. But he's a really, really good prospect. As you can see, he's already 72. and Oops. He's only 72 overall, and that's been in, like, two seasons. So that's pretty good right there. Bradshaw, an original member. Just look at those stats. 93 acceleration, 97 agility, and 95 balance on a 69 overall. Uh, he starts at around 62, I believe. So he's progressed quite a bit. Uh, I, I really love my young players, you know. I'm just going to show you, like, look, 22, 20. Uh, he's 21, 20, Summerfield's a bit up there, yeah, he's 27, Davis is only 17, uh, Walsh is 22, Goldson's 22, Lorando's up there, he's 30, uh, 24, and 29, so over half my team is under the age of like 22, which is pretty good, uh, a bit more players, Chaloba, he's another player I signed, he's alright, anyone else really special, I think I have one more player. Ryan Woods, he starts as like a 57 or something like that. He's already up to 65. Um, what else is there? Vilhinia, he's hurt right now. I got him in an absolute bargain because the team uh, couldn't afford him, basically. His contract was running out. So uh, I picked him up for like a million cheaper than what he's worth. And he has a potential of like 84, which is quite crazy. But he gets injured, which sucks. Injuries, man, so frustrating. So, so frustrating. Jacobson, Jacobson is my old left back there, as you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, that's my team after a couple years. And uh, I don't play any games. I sim all of them. So it really just depends on how good you are at building your team when you do it that way. Personally, I don't enjoy playing the computer, but I, I really enjoy being a manager and just buying and selling players and uh, really just making your team better through smart, smart trades and stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, if you want a career mode, I mean, I could do something similar to what I'm doing right here, except I start from the beginning, of course. I mean, I personally, I enjoy career mode way more than Ultimate Team right now. I don't know what it is, but it's just how it is. Anyways, guys, kind of random video, but little short tip there. 
use 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 scouts they are very very useful but that is all i want to thank you for watching if you like this leave a like please and thank you that would be amazing but anyways guys peace out